up. Oh, he's missed it. It's miles wide. West Ham on the ball. 2-0 down and the level. Press it, West Ham on Adia. Yes, guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the adventure. And today, we're off to a big one. A relegation race and a title race game all in one. West Ham take on Arsenal. West Ham take on Arsenal at the London Stadium in a pivotal clash in the Premier League. Arsenal riding high at the top of the league, while West Ham, after the heights of last season, have dipped to relegation rat race. Last season was incredible for the Hammers. I've seen them play at the London Stadium four times and they won all four against City, Chelsea, Liverpool and Bournemouth. Arsenal have been fantastic this season and continue to make Maintain the title challenge. But who will take the points at the London Stadium? Will Arsenal go six points clear or will West Ham do City a favour? So it is a big one. If you guys are enjoying the adventure, of course, make sure to hit that big red subscribe button. Hammers, I'm relying on a favour for you guys today. Obviously, City West Ham is a bit of a connection there. Hopefully, you can do us a favour. My record at the London Stadium is pretty good as well, so I'm hoping that comes in clutch today. Right, let's get down to London. Come on! It's always good to be back at the London Stadium. Like I said in the intro, I've never ever seen West Ham lose here, so I'm hoping that that comes in clutch today and they can turn over Arsenal. A draw will do as well. I'm happy with that. I'm sure the West Ham fans will be happy with that. They need the points to stay up in this league. I think they will, but they still need the points anyway. And getting a point or three against Arsenal will be a massive confidence boost in their season. Arsenal needs to keep battling with us at the title. It's 50 50 which way it's going to go, to be honest. If we win at the Etihad, it's all to play for. So let's enjoy this one. And out come the teams to bubbles and more bubbles. And it's West Ham against Arsenal. And West Ham draws a favour and themselves by getting themselves to eight points. Underway. Let's have a good game. Oh, that's a goal for Arsenal already. They've worked it beautifully down here. Ben White squares it and Martinelli at the back post. So it's a goal for Arsenal. They've just brilliantly worked to the right hand side. It's so easy for them. Ben White pulls it across the face of goal. And there's Martinelli to tap it in. 1 0 to Arsenal after seven minutes. It's just so easy. It's 2 0 to Arsenal. What is going on? Well, 10 minutes ago. 2-0 to Arsenal. West Ham look terrible on this left-hand side. Caro has got nowhere near any of the men at the back stick. Unbelievable. Well, we're 16 minutes in. I'm not even a West Ham fan. It feels longer than that. It's already 2-0. Speaks volumes. Arsenal just complete control of this game. A bit of positivity from West Ham. But he's got no one round him. He's going to have to go on his own. And hold him. He's won a free kick. Fair play to Antonio. It's too tight of an angle to hit that. He hits it. Hi. It's currently men against boys. West Ham are being absolutely outclassed. What happened to the West Ham that I saw last season that were passionate, that went for every single second ball, no matter how far it was away, sliding tackles across the pitch. Absolute determination. The crowd were active. It's just frustration on and off the pitch. So credit where it's due. Martin Erdogan had an absolutely storm in 25 minutes. Some back heels that he's whipping off that are coming off are just unbelievable. He's in the form of his life. And Arsenal are outclassing the Irons today. Ball of Arsenal's good play, they make a mistake and can they be punished here? It's a poor ball out, Declan Rice picked it up, slips it through, penalty. I mean, if it's Rob Holden again, I call him a bit of a liability. And Arsenal are missing Saliba. Can they get punished here and get West Ham back in the game? This needs to go in to give West Ham a little bit of hope. And it does. West Ham are back in this game. And the London Stadium picks itself up. And if the atmosphere gets how it did last season, West Ham are a difficult team to beat. Stadium has woken up and found its voice. Ben Rama again, he's taken out. Arsenal just losing their heads in midfield. 
absolute bar to take this free kick. In it comes, it's a good one. Oh, and it's tipped over from Ramsdale. It's a good chance for West Ham. Oh, the Ramsdale's been playing absolutely fantastic. They're going to make a third goal. Oh, and now West Ham have a chance. Good good ball back in. He wants it there first. And it's over the bar. It's another good chance for West Ham. Oh, West Ham have had such a good chance. Lucas Paqueta is that little key to open up that Arsenal back door. And he did it. It brilliantly played to Cresson. He fired it across the face of the box. No one there. Anyone there. It's 2-1. And there we go, that brings an end to a very interesting game at half-time. It's West Ham 1, Arsenal 2. Half-time then, and it is West Ham 1, Arsenal 2. Can we just appreciate how good Arsenal were in that first 15 minutes? They absolutely destroyed West Ham. First goal came from the right-hand side. Brilliant triangle from Arsenal. White pulled it across, Martinelli tapped in. Erdegaard tapped the second from a brilliant ball from the left-hand side. And they were ripped to strength. It could have been three, four, five. We were talking in stands. How many goals is it going to be? That's what one mistake does. One mistake at the back from Arsenal, and they were punished. It was picked up by Rice and pulled into the West Ham box, and it was a foul by Gabriel. Absolutely rip roll. <laughs> Pretty disgraceful tackle to be honest. How on earth he didn't get a yellow card? I have no idea. Ben Rotherham took that penalty away with ease. The next goal is so important. If West Ham gets it, there's a chance a London Stadium will be lifted. Fast will score it. It's probably game over. All to play for in the second half. Let's go for it. Teams are just coming out. The worst starts in the second half for West Ham. Just conceded the penalty for Hamball. Penalty for Arsenal. Can they win the game? I think they win it if they score this. Makaya Saka's got a big kick here that might win Arsenal the game at the London Stadium. He steps up. Oh, he's missed it! It's miles wide! Unbelievable! It's got to be one of the worst penalties I've ever seen from a player that you'd never expect it from. For me, it's time for every time it's a goal. And he did it against Sutton's Summit against other teams. How on earth has it gone that far wide? thing that I'm noticing. They wasted eight minutes doing this at Anfield and it takes the sting out of the game. I do not agree with what they're doing here. Down and the level. Classic West Ham with idea. Minutes after Saka missed the penalty as well. West Ham a level. Gerald Bowie with a brilliant goal. Ramsdale can only get a hand but it's 2-2. Two -two. Brilliant ball from Paqueta. Here come West Ham again. Bowen's got Tierney on toast. Oh and it's such a good ball across. Yes. This is it for West Ham. Suckers run the whole length of the pitch. And he hits it straight at Fabianski. Arsenal dominated with 15 minutes to go. Which way will this game go? I'll be happier as it is. Good throwing. He's taking on his man. He's beating him. Oh, oh, what a block that is. I'm not too keen on West Ham sitting off the way that they are, allowing Arsenal to dominate. They've been brilliant since 60 minutes to gunners. But West Ham, they play like they did in the first half and get back them attacking like that's their best form of defence. Attack. Oh, Antonio's in now. And it comes from Vieira, headed on. Goalkeeper does enough. It's uh, five minutes of it. I'd keep the score as it is. I put it to two all before the game, actually. And that is that. An insane ending. A nervy last couple of minutes. But it's finished two all. There we go then. Absolutely fantastic. I literally love coming here. I told you guys I'm a lucky charm. And when West Ham went 2-0 down after 12 minutes, brilliant football from Arsenal, by the way. Goals from Martinelli and Erdegaard. I thought it was going to be how many. But no, the lucky charm's here, guys. What do you expect? And West Ham get that draw from the penalty, from a mistake from Arsenal that allowed them back into it. And Gerard Bowen equalised in the second half. Bit of a nervy end to the game. The big moment was obviously for Kaya Saka missing that penalty, which is so unlike him this season and in penalties in general and then uh, West Ham going at the other end a bit speechless guys I apologise uh, Gerard Bowen equalising at the other end just minutes after Saka missed that penalty West Ham have had a really good chance to win it as well with Antonio hitting the post from a header from a brilliant brilliant run from Ben Rama I mean it was a little bit of a tight angle but that could have been the winner and West Ham held firm Arsenal really didn't have that much of a chance after the penalty everything was straight at Fabianski didn't really need to be called into action couple of decent tackles on the wings from full backs Sufar was excellent Pakata was excellent Rice really G'd up that team when they were 2-0 down the whole of the mentality of the West Ham players was just flat when that second goal went in Rice was the only one G and his team up that is captain material right there and it showed Brilliant result from West Ham. Thank you very much from a City fan. We'll take it from here and go and win this league. It's a brilliant performance from West Ham.
They fully deserved the point. They were good for it in the second half. If they play like that, they will stay up easily. So there we go guys, that brings an end to the video here at the London Stadium. Pleasure to be back, pleasure to watch West Ham. Do I need to keep coming back for you guys to stay up? I think you'll do it. You played like that in the second half, you'll be absolutely fine. Hit that big red subscribe button, smash the like if you enjoyed. Peace out from the London Stadium.